welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. And today we're going to be talking about how to use VLOOKUP across multiple worksheets. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see here, uh, I have three different quarters, uh, excuse me, three different data sets actually from the same quarter in quarter one that are from three different states. So I have uh, this first quarter for Pennsylvania. It's supposed to be Pennsylvania. I don't know why it's pH there. Uh, then this quarter for Texas. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the data for this table, so our numbers will be a little bit different from the Excel chat article, but the process will still be the same. And then we have the data from the first quarter of Indiana, and we're selling lemon and orange juice and pina colada. It's supposed to be pina colada. I'm not sure why it says pina colada, but Again, process still the same. So the first thing that we're gonna do if we wanna use VLOOKUP across multiple worksheets is that we're gonna to have to consolidate the data. So I'm gonna click on B1 here in our quarter one overall, which is where we'll consolidate all the data. I'm gonna to go to data, I'm gonna to go to consolidate right over here. Now it's asking which uh, cells I would like to reference. So I'm gonna go back to my first sheet here and I'm gonna highlight this whole table. And I'm gonna hit add. And as I go from sheet to sheet, Excel will automatically ask if that is, if I want to continue uh, referencing the same area, which I will. And then I'm going to use the top row and left column labels, and then I'm going to create links to source of data. When you create links to source of data, that simply means that you um, are referencing the other cells in previous sheets. So as you update data in, let's say, quarter one uh, for Texas, then that data will be updated in the overall spreadsheet on the master spreadsheet. So now I'm gonna hit okay. As you can see, it brings it right up here for us. And I'm gonna get rid of this column. Uh, so now you can see we have a consolidated table with all of our data, uh, the totals uh, the totals in January, February, March. Uh, now what we're gonna do is use VLOOKUP. So in this case, uh, we're looking for orange juice in the month of February, and we wanna find the percentage of sales for orange juice in the month of February. So the way that we're gonna do that is hit equals VLOOKUP parentheses. Now we're going to reference orange juice here. And now it's asking for our table array, which we're going to reference like so. And I'm going to anchor that. Uh, and now it's asking which column it wants me to look at. And look at column two, please, because that is month of February. And now I'm going to put false for the exact match. And close parentheses. Now we're going to divide it by the number that we're looking for in order to get the overall percentage here. So we're going to do VLOOKUP again. And we're going to reference B16. <clears throat> and then we're going to highlight the same table array and make sure we anchor that. Uh, now we're going to tell you to look, uh, we're going to tell Excel to look in the fifth column under total by putting five and then close. So as you can see, I got 34%. So that is the percentage of orange juice sales in the month of February uh, for the total percentage of sales. Pretty good amount, I guess, 34%. I'm not really sure, but I do know one thing. That is how you consolidate data into a master sheet and then proceed to use the lookup. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.